two minus signs, they turn into a plus. So we add the view ray. And this result is the vector which is the bouncing reflection vector from the surface based on the surface normal. Having this vector, we can fire a new ray, which means this fire ray function is calling itself recursively, and the fire ray function is going to get a new ray starting at the last intersection point, the first parameter position, and using the reflection vector as the direction, and the optional reflection parameter is going to be set to the reflect color from the last material which is the reflect color in a ray trace material it's called the same in the user interface let's assign this material to the ground plane and set the reflection to uh, approximately medium gray and we have to make the last changes to our main loop. Note that we're not returning any value from the fire ray function since the surface color is being calculated as a side effect of this function. That means it's being initialized to some color before we call the fire ray function and then the fire ray function being called multiple times gradually changes the, the content of this variable and the last result uh, starting the surface color after calling the fire ray is going to represent the accumulated color from all the reflections and initial shading. In order to do this, inside the main loop, we are going to initialize the surface color to the background color, set the surface alpha to zero and also set the iterations count to zero for the current pixel that is being shaded. So for every ray that we shot from the eye we're going to set the counter to zero and it's going to be incremented until it reaches the ray trace depth defined inside the function. Of course we could implement the user interface and add a real spinner to deliver this number, but at this point it's going to be hard coded to 3. Now that we have all these changes, we can try to call our ray script function and see the result of the ray tracing. Up to this point, it appears to be the same as before, but now we start seeing the ground plane reflecting the blue color of the environment and also reflecting the sphere, which is normally halfway passing through the plane, and also reflecting the teapot. Of course, we could add the same ray trace material to the sphere and take a look at the result. In this case, we can already see the reflection of the teapot in the sphere and the sphere is also reflecting the blue of the background. 